welcome back to my channel my name is rose edit and if you are new to my channel you're wondering what i do here i share with you guys everything about my career i'm a seafarer yes a female sailor i also share with you guys vlog lifestyle and everything in between so please guys subscribe to my youtube channel like and share my video and also turn on the the post the post notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i post any video so today guys i want to answer a question that i have been receiving of recently someone asked me how can he become a seller i repeat how can one become a seafarer or a seller in fact how can one work in my field so guys i want to answer that question today and i believe you too might be wondering how i got here so today i will be telling you what is required of you to work on board a ship so first of all you need to understand the department you want to work in right on board the ship there are three departments we have three departments on board the ship we have the deck department we have the engine department and we have the galley department so you make your choice maybe depending on your area of studies you want to go to deck or engine right or maybe you don't actually have any um higher institution uh, qualification you can still work on board the ship who says you cannot you can still do that so first of all you need to be either a trainee seaman or a cadet i will talk about the cadet aspect as a cadet you've always have it in mind or you've been to the university and you've studied related uh, marine courses such as marine engineering electrical engineering or nautical science and you said you want to become maybe one day you want to become a captain or a chief officer after your university studies you're required to get some short courses which is basically on safety and more knowledge about the work you're coming to do on board the ship and you're able to come on board a ship as a cadet cadet is a training stage where all your officers teach you or show you what to do at the at the stage of a cadet after a cadet you can become an officer so it's just as simple as that after your university study you could uh, go for the short courses that is required of a marina depending on your company and you are eligible to go on board the ship as a cadet and you're asking i said even without university uh, university certificate you can still work on board the ship how you are um maybe you um you attend a, a vacation a, voc a vocational um school some of them are just six month program they teach you about um maybe shipbuilding, the tissue about elect electronic, the ship tissue about, um, um, sorry, electrical stuff. You know how it is. And you're wondering, and you, you have, you're inspired to go on board. You don't just want to learn this electrical stuff and go to, on board, uh, go to houses to fix things. You have that high standard, you want to go on board. You can still do it with your vocational um, certificate showing that you're qualified to do social things, to repair social things. Plus the short courses you need to do. You can able to come, you are able to come on board as a able seaman. Able seaman, you are taught how you, you come in on board with the little knowledge you've already acquired with um, your vocational education. You come in on board, and as an able seaman, you're being you you start from scratch. They teach you those things. The little knowledge you have acquired with what you are taught is stage by stage. That first stage is a learning stage. You are allowed to practice. You are allowed to see how these things are being done. And with time, 
you get to know them and with time you get promoted so you see maybe uh you you do some uh, vocational studies on electrical engineering and you want to work on board you could actually come on board as a wiper initial stage from wiper you become an oiler and if you're ambitious enough you can become highest rank chief engineer funny enough it's possible if you are ambitious enough you could be a oiler with your determination with your experience you are eligible to go for your um ooww and with your intelligence and your zeal about this job you could actually pass coc and cv it's something and you become officer of the watch is that not something or you said you are, you want that is for the engine hands right and you said you want to come on the deck department you did not go to university that you said you will start as a cadet you feel discouraged no you don't have to feel discouraged even with your without the university certificate you can come on board as an ordinary seaman yeah ordinary seaman which is os os you are being trained you are being groomed you are being shown to do a lot of things on board the ship such as, such as maintenance work housekeeping and with time you learn um navigation steering the wheel you become from you you'll you be promoted from os to able seaman as able seaman you're already navigating you're keeping watch and if you're intelligent if you if you have the desire to upgrade yourself with with enough experience you're eligible to pick uh um a OOW form and go sit for the COC exams and if you pass you can become an officer so you see guys it's not about it's not all about going to university or you think I did not go to university I cannot make it as a seafarer or you think being a seafarer is only meant for university graduates or you as a university graduate you feel um you cannot do it guys Everything depends on your desire and zeal. Just go to that university and you'll be lucky to pursue your career and get everything done. You, you could become a cadet as it starts. As the, as, it, as, the, as the day goes by, become an officer, chief officer, you become a um, captain, if that's what you want. Or even those that did not even go to university, you could become uh, a, a training sim, um, yeah, a training seaman. With time, you could still acquire other certificates that will enable you to become officer. Sometimes the difference is just in those um, salary, and it's just a little difference. But with your passion for job, you won't even want to look at your sal salary aspect because you know the future is brighter, right? So, guys, it's just easy your school um um you go through your university stage or if you don't you're not opportunity to go to university you can go to any uh, vocational school six months a year they train you on a specific a specific area of your interest either electronic electrical or or the deck aspects i did not mention the steward department steward department <laughs> maybe a catering school you have to go to there yeah? And after that, you have other short, short courses that is required as a seafarer, basically, basically for um, safety purpose. That is why those courses are a, a require of you. But with just your um, um, cooking, um, any um, conventional uh, cooking center that you attend a class and learn how to cook, you can actually come into the steward. Uh, sorry, come into the galley department. Maybe as a steward. Steward, they have a lot of good money. Some of the bankers you see, just steward on board the ship, hence more than them. You could come in as a steward. With time, you become a chief, uh, a, chief a second cook. From second cook, you become a chief cook. And you are earning well. You're having a, leg a very legal money. You know the joy that comes with enjoying your own money. And even as a, in galley department, you so much have, you, 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 you entered uh, shipping, industry or you come on board through the direction of galley department right and as time goes on you realize that you want better because in galley department the highest rank you could you can acquire is just the chief cook right but in other department you can actually 
get higher to as high as captain or chief engineer and chief engineer right so while in the galley department you now see that uh, you want something more for yourself you don't just want to end up cooking cooking though that was the means you got into the shipping uh, shipping industry it's always nice to make a step so you make a step to come into the shipping industry with with your cooking idea right and you got there and you feel you can do more you feel that there's more to this your life than just cooking and serving people right and you want to divert you can with your interest and with your desire once in a while if you you now decide to change to engine department or you decide to go to deck once in a while you go on deck you meet the captain sir i want to go on deck and do social work i'm interested when i'm in my free time i want to also assist on deck you'll be so surprised that with a good captain and with your relationship with captain with your desire to work with the energy you are bringing out in your next contract they might promote you to become to be switched to a deck department and then you can switch before you know it with your ambitious mind and life you can get to that height you want so guys i just want to share with you how you can get into um shipping industry or work on board the ship how you can get there that's a little i can share